Uh, hi there everybody, it's Friday afternoon the 28th and uh, I really what I'd like to do is it's a very brief one, a very brief snip. I just want to comment about that uh, little expression that I use when I open up these snips with Ireland in the most indebted nation in the world. And uh, I got into a bit of a, a verbal with someone recently there about uh, two days ago about this. And they said that I was uh, basically talking through my uh, proverbials. So what I've done is I'm going to end this little, this little snip of looking at me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two scans up. And the first scan is the Central Statistics Office, Office scan, which you've seen before probably. And it tells us about our, our external debt. And uh, um, the second one is the... Wikipedia, it's from Wikipedia, and it lists the top 10 most indebted nations in the world. Actually, if you want to say it, it lists the, the 100 most indebted nations of the world. But uh, I've just taken the bit that relates to the top 10, alright? And the reason this came about with um, someone that I know, they had read in the newspapers that uh, some economic scribe had said that our national debt was, uh, I think it may, 60 billion uh, euros which is not true at all. Uh, that's government debt. That is not the national debt. The national debt is the the national debt is a summation of government and private debt all within under one. In other words, what we as a nation owe externally to the rest of the world. And uh, anyway, I don't want to depress you before your your uh, weekend, but uh, we'll shortly have we, th this, this CSO report that I'm putting up it relates to the um, the information up until March of this year. So they're going to bring one out very, very shortly, which will be up until my, uh, be up to June or July. So we'll be able to make the comparison between this one and the following one. Anyway, listen, have a nice weekend. I don't speak to you before then. Bye. Yeah, this is the... Uh the first document which we've seen before which is uh, the document issued by the central statistics office in dublin and it gives our external debt as of the 31st of march 2009 and uh, if you read down clearly you can see it is at 1.69 trillion at the end of march that's 1000 approximately 700 billion at the end of march so it's increased in 1998 it was 11 billion and it's gone up to uh, 1.7 trillion or 1700 billion now and you can see that the general government debt is 60 billion as of the 31st of march and you can see that the financial in, uh, institutions and the other investment sectors are what's liable for most of this debt. And next we go on to the list of countries by external debt listed the top 10. And this is from Wikipedia. And as you go down through it, you can see that it goes United States of America, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Netherlands, and then sixth is Ireland, and we're ahead of Japan and Switzerland and Belgium. But then when you go over and you compare us in relation to the two main ind indices, which are external debt as a percentage of GDP and external debt per capita, you can see all is revealed. The external debt as a percentage of GDP for Ireland is our external debt is 10 times our GDP. It's 960% of our GDP. And uh, external debt per capita for every individual that's in Ireland is $448,000 or €330,000 for every man, woman and child. And it is growing by the week.